positioned, ready to rock and roll. Estetai can take his time on ramp flank if need be, but the doors swing wide. And Dupree swings for the fences. Pops next in the process, and Kenny S pinned into the corner is now dead. This lets Estetai go back and watch the ramp, or excuse me, the lobby, because he wasn't needed down ramp. The entries to the B site went so well that he could go off and play plan B. Amanek with one kill for G2, but that's all they have so far in this pistol. Yeah, it's super simple to kind of figure out what was going on this round. G2 knew exactly what was coming. They just had to hit their shots. They had two in position in the lower site, ready to defend against this. Execute, and you know, for Astralis, they get so, such a significant amount of control, being able to cross in a secret with so many players without any casualties, and that's pretty much where the round is lost. Of course, if, you know, I mean, I guess you could try to get on it or at least keep him close to the bomb, but he'll die, he'll grab one frag, and that's just about it. So, Astralis bomb plant moving to the second round. Okay. Kind of down the lane through smoke. Yes, they might have been you know, expected if, he, if they're going to be down here that he would have been in squeaky, but instead Jax has actually come to find the information for himself. Kenny S now move into position. Magic will molly him out. They've got the cross mollies going. They'll have seven seconds for the bomb down, but Kenny S goes out Ooh. for that risk, which he needs to take. Too much respect and you'll lose versus elite competition. We've learned that. And now it's a four on two spot for G2. Maybe four on one device, clean headshot. But still, low on health, Dupree alone in the site. Yeah, very much committed to the corner. We've got four flashbangs left here for Astralis. Device, he could definitely serve up a distraction as G2 try to get the retake rolling. Hell, Device, he could even hit some headshots, but he goes down first. Dupree with an answer and still two targets to take. Trying not to get pinched, but he knows that it's inevitable. This crossfire is coming all the closer. He tries to section it off for two separate duels, but just... In the nick of time, G2 is going to jump on bomb. They're hoping it's some kind of heaven wrap, but they don't even realize. It's all about Nexa yep. now. Good luck. Magic Scopin's first door. There's the wall bank from Esa Tag. That's, that's so <laughs> nasty. It forces the feet of Nexa, and he's oh on 8 HP. God. He's getting attacked through the walls, through the floorboards, and from the side. So no surprise he dies. Bomb will be planted safely, tucked in corner as Aminex forced into the open. Magic drops him, and this four-man situation for Astralis oh, looks man. good. It doesn't look good. It looks great. Everybody that's else other than Dupree stays standing. That's disgusting, man. Are they going Drops back Drops device at least. There's a question for me. Hunter, he's crossing outside now. Oh, but they grab acid tag. Okay. Yep. Big kill. Big kill. Here we have it. G2 man advantage, but the bomb's gone down regardless of their best efforts. It snuck out through decon. That leaves one T on the bomb site, one back, and Glaive stranded in the vents now, calling Dupree into the action. <laughs> this does open a world where Kenny S can come wide. Sure enough, Magus not catching him by surprise. 4v1 now. Dupree, best of luck. He's definitely outnumbered, and Nexa gets him. Finally, something good for G2. A second on the board, Mohan, but four people up at the end of it. Nicely done. Oh, but should they? Jax, he just gave up that ramp room as we had Dupree round the corner. Kenny S, nice reposition. Device was hunting for him, but Kenny S takes to the top of Little Blue Box. The off angle unfolds properly here for G2. A little bit of contest going down towards ramp. Kenny comes back in for second servings as he has lost a teammate. And both yes. of Astralis' remaining members are here. But Kenny, yes, dropping the bomb. His third frag in the round. And there's the nail in the coffin from Nexa. However, Device, he wasn't spotted going lower and he has not unscoped yet. He walks into Hut. That's going to cost him. Hunter playing up close and personal. Now suddenly we're back into the even keel. Even the HP of Estatag kind of cancels out that of Jax with the flash nearly interrupting device. Kenny S keeps through the smoke and Hunter's gonna help out with that control of lobby. But oh, device with a no scope through the side of the smoke, all of a sudden puts this round back in question. Bomb sprinting downstairs. Jax is at B, but can't quite stop it because the smoke is on point and the bomb is on the floorboards. Device is the only player of four who has any substantial health left over. And how do G2 get back into this retake? 
If Jax can come out from the window, then maybe he sees the barrel of device, but Estetag denies exactly that. And now Kenny, he knows he's too valuable with this op to really take the risk. Nexa got killed right away, and credit to G2, they almost brought that back. They almost did. But then Estetag makes that emergency rotate down lower. Fully flashbanged. White as can be. Kenny S drops the Molotov, anticipates the peak there from Glaive, but just isn't quite fast enough. So simultaneous frags between Glaive and Magisk. Aminex going to answer back with something on this B site. And we do have Magisk kind of sprinting down towards ramp. He was almost just caught by Jax. Jax actually feared the situation, but at least he makes the call for Aminek, who comes in big. Three players on the B hold from Aminek, and Dupree is in the clutch, but there is no time. Fortunately for them, they're not running with much more time to adapt, but Jax will get around the side of the smoke outer. Hunter also able from the top of hut to get a kill and take that man advantage. So we've got something here for G2, but they can't hang on for too long because Dupree comes wildly around the corner, killing Nexa, who's replaced by Hunter, but called out. Dupree anticipating the play and Glaive in the meantime, dropping Kenny S. So one by one by one, they fall. And we've got G2 putting the pressure on Aminek. Now, his multi-kills have won them rounds, or at least singular round towards that B site, but now being so outnumbered. So Kenny S spotting the cross, and it actually looks like it might be some kind of wrap. So it could be a free frag for him. Shoots a bit early, misses again, and Device capitalizes on that opportunity. Kenny can't fall back, and now have it up for grabs. Yeah, they're trying to climb over top of it. Jax will defend the base, but Magisk already towering out from the top of it. Hunter burning behind the vents, has a little bit of sanctuary, lays down the smoke to try and exit. The frag grenade chips him to four, and Device with the Tech-9 spam will take that frag back. Low HP for all four of Astralis' players. It's Device's 3K that has done everything here for the T side, and there's still no clear route as an entry. By Jax finally arriving at Mini, he's molotov off, as if to send a message that despite your best efforts and drive for the retake, man, there's just nothing you can do. Even with these kills, time is of the essence. Dupree's gonna swing out and close this half, Mohan. It is 11 rounds to four. And G2 with a lot of work to do as they take to the offense. Is it possible? Yes. Is it probable? No. Pistol would almost seal the deal. We'll see. Got Glaive popping. Ooh, Noggins. Takes the headshot later, Kenny. Yes. Man didn't even get a chance to cross, damn it. Hunter, what you doing up here? Waiting for Dupree, so it seems. And it worked out well. Device back towards ramp, getting challenged from his own damn spawn. And they jump across his crosshair, making things real awkward for the Danish star. G2, man advantage as they work their way closer towards that B site. But they kind of stagnate ever so slightly, and this does open a world where Magus could find the player on ramp, but he creeps into Nexa. Had he peered downwards, Aminek could have been the possibility, but off of Nexa's kill, he's going to recall Bomb, calling the action instead into the A site, which is secured by Hunter on Vent. Right, yeah, especially with the time. I mean, by the time he walks up into Heaven, Bomb's halfway gone. There's no kit on the play either, so it's just going to be this, like, last desperate sprint in, and G2 on high alert know exactly when it's coming because they didn't have any time to spare. So three guys up for the end in G2, but... This Nexus is like clustering the B site though, but it's a walkout on A from G2. And Jax, despite being blind, able to pick up one. Magis gonna answer this. And Jax is just beneath the vice. He's gotta be careful on this scout. CT's putting up a good fight. I mean, they've got the man advantage, but it's the bomb plant that's gonna be in the back pocket of G2. And the pants fall down on their attempted exit. That's the big one. Astralis, we've got a smoke to play in front of in heaven. Kenny S exit backs through Squeaky Door. Magisk still sectioned off because of the smoke in mini, and that's a crucial frag from Device. Estetag chiming in with the Deagle. It all falls onto Kenny. He's got the Galil, but he's got 8 HP and he needs to exit. So Astralis, yeah, they easily stick this bomb. It's the eco retake, Mohan. Yikes, uh, they just had no... It, it felt like there was just no hope even when they were like comfortably in positions on the site. So suddenly... I know what you mean. It hurts. It, oh, it hurts! 
slave with the three-man Mac-10 play. Oh my god, he's using their own guns against them to make mad money. 7.7 thousand dollars for Glaive at the end of this one. Two kills from Device off the scout. Device, this is dangerous, but Hunter, he's coming down the ladder right next to it. Device waits. Glaive, he's given the back of the players outside. He gets the double, and Device also did get that kill inside of Hunt. Everything's going well for Astralis once they're back on the big guns. Kenny S from the top of Silo, denied by Glaive. A 3K for Astralis' champion in-game leader. Because now they're trying so hard on this Glock save that they were trying the whole time. That's great. And that gets around the corner, but it's a crossfire from hell. Magisk able to replace Glaive as he does get swarmed, but I mean, Device, just USP taps. No Kevlar, no chance. Astralis, they secure that 15th round. They've got nine map points here on Nuke, picked by Astralis for a reason. And here comes the tea timeout. We had the unorthodox mid-round pause to collect thoughts, and now they're going to cement those ideas Glaive's waiting, waiting for that MP7 to round red box. It's a matter of timing though. He's gonna start making a move. It looks like this A site needs a little bit of help. Device calling for some action and Amanek, he's gonna find the better of it. Blindsides the player outer. Estatag back in cover, but Magisk. Three kills, double headshot. Almost executes them all. Amanek, he doesn't have the bomb. He's got 15 seconds to retrieve it and two players of Astralis are going to cut him down. A 16 to 6 victory here on Nuke. Nice and easy into the pistol round. G2 to the offense. Three flashbangs between Jax and Amanek. Glaive smoked off for now. Kenny S on the other side. Great flash. And Glaive unable to make magic happen. Just tags up Kenny ever so slightly. Hmm. Ooh, nice. Nexa. Crisp double headshot through the second doors as well. Making it look so easy. G2, is this the same team we had going on nuke? Because this one is convincing. I mean, bomb plant all too easy. Last man up's going to be S attack. He has no business winning this. The T side of Dust 2 starts well for the Frenchman and co. Yeah, we know, you know they just have a, a very deep playbook on this map. I mean, they make this map look tactically interesting, but the same can be said for Astralis. This was like the other map, and G2 know that that information is there as well. Very clumped up. Dangerous game to play. That's three of the four remaining, all tagged up by the scout here. Next thing, Kenny S going to alleviate a little bit of pressure, but Dupree, he's got that Mac-10. It could be perfect. Oh, an S attack with the Deagle wall bang headshot, but Dupree has made the difference. He cleaned up. They'd have to make a really big mistake, or he basically has to one bullet CT spawn. Let's see if he can do that. Oof. Oh. He suppresses him. Yeah. Oh, fire that's the hard part. Nearly enough. Jesus. But Dupree he gets him from the sky. And run back. Sacrifice. Go flying. Oh. Goes over, catches Device with a knife out, in fact, but hey, Device just playing hard mode, snaps it back with a headshot. Magis M4 with one. It's really Jax's Deagle trying to give cover to Kenny that could have made the difference. Estatag up close, peeking around the corner, playing it safe, not exposing himself fully, and just peppering them back. But uh, G2 have a little bite with their bark. Not only the bomb plant, now attempting to cheat back into Catwalk, where they have found Magisk. It's over on the ramp that Estatag resides. And Kenny S, the last to die. Two kills on him, two frags to go. Creeping it around, and he had a chance, but that chance taken away. The costs are Ooh, effective. That is Keep right on the bomb plant? That is right yeah, on yeah, the yeah. second mark. I mean, this is really close. I think he gets Whoa. The very no Not even. Oh. Talk about cost effective. They robbed the round with the bomb explosion. Guess the money was kind of in an awkward spot. That's interesting. They could get bullied for it too. You know, coming in with some kind of a buy, but is it even going to get a chance? Glaive, he connects a good scout headshot. Coming back in for a second, but Nexa alleviates the pressure from behind. There will be a second player and device to take over the tunnels, but with that nade kill, they see the route open forward. So sure enough, another volley of utility there. Frag, flash, it's enough to push them back. And Astralis. You know, and then they get reset after losing the seventh round or eighth round or whatever. It was kind of... Yeah. 
good. Little presence on long. Try and magnetize the defense, but device scoped in. Oh, we didn't see the second player cross. Maybe still a little bit too flash flashbang to see him. That's going to be the A site over to G2. They've got Amanek inside of the smoke, but the smoke fades and Dupree still with eyes on it. Gets the man advantage here for Astralis. However, all of G2's players trying to creep back into cap, but they're not fast enough. Kenny S is quick for the flick into Magus and back here for second servings as Nexa comes in from middle, cutting off the tail end of it all. The CT is now in a bit of a pickle, but they're on top of Bomb. And Kenny, he's going to have to swing. That's right into the play of Glaive. Nexa, all that's left, kills oh. the player on car. He could jump, he could jump and stop it, but it's so close. And G2 using Nexa in the sky to deny a second round for Astralis. Inside of middle yet once more. They're trying to hold it back. We will find Hunter crossing before the smoke, but can't quite finalize the frag. Amanek getting an entry onto the B site puts poor Magist into a real hot spot. But Glaive's able to get back into the equation. Magisk may think that Tunnels has not been pushed, but Amanek's already on the platform, so that's soon to be an execution, and it leaves it all on S tag. He's chasing down Kenny S with an op in hand. Close combat sniper shots seal the deal for G2. Playing Counter-Strike now, folks. B hit, big B hit, Dupree. He's got Magus to give him a helping hand for only a quick moment. Nexa's already taken the man off of middle, so Dupree knows he's all alone. Gets the first kill, a second one up close. Very good from Dupree, but not enough to stop the bomb from being planted. It's tag and Device on the retake. Two versus two. tag already inside of the windowsill setting. Their crosshairs off set, but Device wasn't quite ready to come in with him. So it's two separate engagements, two separate 1v1s. There's Molotov, smoke grenades, Molotov, smoke grenades. The guy just can't get in. And once he finally walks inwards, it's Nexa holding his own. 10 rounds for G2, 78% success rate in getting 5v4s, but only a 14% conversion. Right. 14% conversion of 5v4s from Astralis. It's almost unheard of, but that was the first nine rounds. We're now at the 13th and we have Astralis on the kill feed. It's been a while, boys, but a five versus two. Let's get the stats on that. This surely must be their second round on the board. Kenny S attempt to get run boosted, instead delivering himself and the bomb into the lying waste of Glaive. Leaves Glaive inside of the A site instead. No sniper on the cross. Got Estatag committed towards Pit. And Glaive here now in question. That second flashbang fully blinds him. He was looking to stop them, but now, well, they get real close and personal. And still he manages to hold as long as his back is not susceptible to the push, which it isn't. Estatag deep down range, supposed to maintain this long control, but Glaive still fumbled by the players on the bomb site itself. Magus takes his place, creeping up the ramp, right into the shots of Amanek, who delays his kill, so that Hunter has to finish that one off. Now, there is a health advantage for the three players of Astralis, but they're blind and dying. Kenny S and Nexa, device, he was moved from the A site, and because of that, never even had a chance to play. One thing they're doing that's good, that's kind of like, it's just... That's not allowed. Uh oh, and, and that's what you get. Come back. <laughs> yep, yep. There's the price tag. That's the tag with the headshot onto Hunter, but that does open up a world where Jax can just sprint right by. Considering his team has 12 rounds, he's got two kills. Jax looking to do something by the end of this first half, and he will. Takes over control of the CT spawn, really compromises Estatag's position. Then that duel unfolds towards long, but with Jax being in CT and his two teammates in mid, just divert towards the B bomb site. That's definitely the play. They're gonna try to challenge Device. As his teammates fall around him, he could stop bomb. Kenny S with the drive-by Tech 9. Gonna plant that, and Magus is left to clutch. Nothing to lose here in the 15th round, but not much to work with. Two flashbangs and the AK up. Jax could walk into this separate 1v1. That would put pressure on Kenny, but they've got double Molotovs. So Magis, ah, spotted as his shoulder rounds the corner. You've ever seen to close this 2-0 and get to the playoffs, or we've got Inferno coming up soon enough, and we will provide the action on that third map now that G2's woken up. I mean, look at Kenny S. His eyes wide open and his USP spitting fire. 
as he gets that second kill in towards middle. We've got terrorists crossing long, but we've got Kenny S flanking them on top of it. So even though they'll find their bomb plant in the pistol, it's going to uh -huh. have to be the 3v5. And yeah. well, they're going to push into Cat, trying to fight the CT side where there's an abundance of them. The defense full force retake. Kenny S with the 3k. But, uh, remember, Inferno's up next. That's exciting. And G2 still not done playing with their food. They're chewing on it. It's still trying to escape, but it's very much caged into middle right now. All of these T's kind of stuck in no man's land. Luckily, they had one more smoke to pop up on CT spawn. That denies Nexa any part of this equation, but it's still a smash into the B-bomb site, and smash it is the other way. G2, sustain, and brave the assault. Focusing down on mid a little bit more. As the tag setting off some fireworks at long. And uh -oh. there's a temp lurk. Yeah, it gets shut down. That's one of the three scouts in play taken down. But, ooh, Glaive. He's going to get wrecked by Hunter. Traded it back by Magisk, who now finds himself alone. And he's not just alone. But he's got 19 HP, no bomb, and 20 seconds to go get it. Amanek in the back of the bomb site. He will finish this one with ease. 16 rounds to two. I don't understand how it happens. You don't understand how it happens. But it sure as shit just did. They could lead them forward here. Kenny S, will he end up just dying to the boiler player? No, he actually grabs a frag. And now I think this is where things get very interesting. Because they could go back to B. But again, there's still two players camped out here. I don't really know who this favors. It's a weird one, right? Yeah. Two, two set up here, but at least the Molotov gets extinguished by the smoke. So Jax oh, isn't panicking. Kenny's committed. They go for the split. The old wraparound. Going around through CT spawn. Device going to lead the charge up from Banana. And the defenders on the B site, they've got 10 seconds to just hold this bomb off. Nexa dies empty-handed. Hunter, he comes in, but he gets a good idea as to what Glaive's up to. Giving chase all the way back. Glaive with the jumping edge shot. None of this makes sense, but Kenny S with three on for the ace. Has to figure out where they're at, and Magis blasts him into the depths of the Golden Pond. Oh, baby because they found that arch play, which as you said, has been open for so long, despite them kind of being timid with the idea of rounding the corners, now's their chance. Hunter patiently back in the little pit, still gets found out by Essa Tag. Now Jax eats a grenade and then some 42 HP last after, and he's killed. Essa Tag's doing good work, but here comes Nexa, two crisp headshots out of library. Good thing there was a third player there. Essa Tag has Three kills in the round, and then picks up the bomb to get the plant. This pushes the clutch onto Amanek, and seeing as he has Kenny's op, Kenny's calling him to save. And then just lost to Glaive. That made things a bit sketchy. Nexa does his best to bring it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another great yeah. nade to the to the logs on Magisk. Hunter, does he get this kill? That's the question. Instant dink off onto Dupree, and it'll upgrade into the... Cheaper but more powerful AK looking for a spray. As a tag takes more damage than Hunter and the rougher player. That's fine. Good kill by Kenny S as well. And now the bomb will scramble back to sole remaining teammate of Device who's been entering B quite often. Ouch. Oh, this is hard. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it's just all over the place, man. Poor Device. Amanek back behind the site. Eats a flashbang for the time being. Two T's in front of him. One over the top. Kenny S throwing flashbangs and uh, really making this one easy. Device, because of that utility, is on 17 health, but he crosses paths with Nexa, shoots him in the back of the head, and tries to get one over towards New Box, but Kenny comes in with the op and G2 on the board. The only thing that's good about that is that they are at least making sure to get to damage off before they fall back. Okay, that's this is a full XP coming. Oh, and a great flash. I mean, they turn for the first, but not the second. The two trades come in, and now, I mean, it's basically a save. You just don't even go for this. That's a wrap. But yeah, just like you're saying, they... they, they and it's all good. No warning sign, really, for G2. You know, playing behind those smoke grenades. It's not like the Astralis were pummeling them with obvious frags. Dupree with a parting gift. A late-night kiss. 
to Jax. Takes his weapon away. Two of five players with primaries. Both of which on this bomb site. Kenny S up close, dying to Magus. That could accelerate the execute. They see Nexa on the Deagle, but we do have Amanek here on the rifle. He's above second oranges, just trying to hold the line. Device swings wide and dies first. Nexa with the headshot on the Deagle. Dupree has a chance, but it's Amanek to swing this one back. Good thing both the weapons were on that B bomb site. G2 stacking appropriately to barely. Look at this mini map. Arch man. is open. Next up, he's going to walk wide. Takes the headshot from Glaive, but still finishes him off. Amanek's deep position down on Banana. One of the first few times we've actually seen G2 make those aggressive moves down Banana, and it nearly pays off, but it's not quite enough. And this is when that wall bang damage between Esetag and Jax really comes back to bite him because a 2v3 retake with these grenades is doable. But does Jax want to risk his life? He has to. And Device takes it from him before he even has a chance to make the clutch. Hunter, one versus oh, yeah. three. But Magus, instantaneous headshot. Three frags on the round for him. Yeah. But somebody has to leave for bomb. So in doing so, maybe they redirect over towards the B site. Who knows? Nexa, he is hiding behind car. Here's Glaive with the utility and just shoots him in the back of the head. That's two rounds now. Either Amanek deep on logs or Nexa now behind the vehicle that uh, things go well for G2 on the banana aggression, but it's back from short A. The Astralis still stay and try their damnedest to get in here. Amanek pops up from the little pit, but Essentag has the bomb site, the bomb, and potentially the plant. He comes off of it. Now he needs the kills. He gets the first and had a chance at Nexa, but it comes to the 1v1 and G2 find a fourth. Kenny, what kind of lines do we have? The boost, oh, it's into the leg. The boost keeps nice him alive. Try. Kenny S is low, but Jax and Kenny S combined about 30 HP. Kenny S will make the big rotate around, but Kenny S and the S is for Swift. He'll find that first frag and stay alive with a man advantage. S is for Swift. The S is for Suave. Look at G2 feeling a little more invigorated than their last retake attempt. Kenny S wanting to put the fully HP players in front of him so he can just give Overwatch. Bomb ticking, more than halfway gone already. So here it is. The retake attempt from Amanek gets shut down and nobody else is actually making a move. It's as if they don't even have time already. They're trying to get out from cross, but they can't. It gets completely culled, completely cut down by Glaive. Kenny maintains the AWP, but a three-piece from Astralis' in-game leader. I mean, unless they give time for Kenny S to peek mid, they could just hit the bomb site. But no, Kenny, he's going to peek in. There's nobody watching Arch, and Kenny, he misses the first shot. That's going to expedite the hit. Now they're moving inwards. That's a that's a shock prod to the back leg. And Kenny S is still hunting with Hunter on that bomb site. Two frags off of the ump. A fifth round for G2 to close the first half. For one map, just to fall flat here in the third, it's time to find out. They have five rounds after their CT side of Inferno. Nothing to really be proud about. And Astralis, oh my god, the confidence. Just running rampant down mid into alt, finding the bomb with headshots in abundance. Estetag still anchoring middle. I mean, these poor G2 players have nowhere to go. Look at Furia and say that that's influenced teams on the other side of the world. I'm sure. Sure. I'm sure it has. But yeah, there's a lot of that going on right now. And it is a very exciting bug. I like it. Jax trying to get out from balcony as Nexa clears out Arch. That is a good kill for Jax to pick up. Keeps all of his health in the meantime. Throws the flash out. Glaive just stampeding across. Makes an abundance of noise. And it costs him his life. But right there and after, everything goes the way of Astralis. So that is an 11-5 lead. Here's where you smoke down aggressively. Take some peeks. Throw some grenades. Boom. Mad. They do run up. Instant headshot, but it is a Glock dink. It's for what oh. it's worth. But some more utility damage. A bit delayed towards B stairs. Mid stairs. Them stairs. Them stairs. They're being held now by anybody, so they have to turn their attention back. Esetag is tucked into the logs. No armor on these three players. This Mac MP9. 
Could rip him to shreds. Hunter trying to clear it, but S the tag comes out wide enough. The gun goes dry. Oh, oh and he denies the knife. Kenny S trying to get that early op. Getting that post plant in a state where you can just hang on. Because you know Glaive and S-Attack are going to come retake if it's a close one. Kenny S unable to trade. Dupree with the MP9 double headshot. Shuts down everything. Half of the T's got through the fire. The other half were held back. Now Aminek's going to burn one out of the corner. But Magis instant headshot. And Nexa comes wide from Arch. Ooh, he gets two. But there's no time. That's the biggest issue. No time. They were forced forward. Let's see what he can make of this. This is a pressured situation. Jax is low. Good instant kill. Hunter's up next. There's the second. 19 health left over. A preemptive spray down is good to soften up Kenny S. And S tag single-handedly has put his team in a position where they could still win this. Really has. Next, uh, ooh, Phil had to squeeze water from Stone from this spot. Dupree's going to run right by him, however. And that makes things and a bit interesting. M4. A nice upgrade, yeah. Mm-hmm, it's devices off, up close, and he manages, but then Kenny S trades it with a quick headshot of his own off of the AK. Magis, back in spawn, barely alive. 12 health versus 100, turned to 78, but he's turned tail, tucked tail, and sprinted away to safety. This is G2 with a lifeline. A sixth round on the board. This could be everything. We'll take here right now. Oh, it's perfect. It is so good. S to tag two kills off of it. Glaive with the flash assist. Nexa runs in through this. The smoke and the molly not going to stop him. He has a mission and a bomb to plant on top. They've got a smoke for banana, which makes things harder for Hunter here. And Very one true. HE. There's that smoke. He gets in front of it, Mohan. Hunter actually goes oh, for spotted. the peak. Yeah, he's putting himself in a really tricky spot, and Astralis will make that retake happen with ease. So, Estatag and Glaive. We call that perfectly timed teamwork. Well, I say easy, but, I mean, victories over Heroic and G2 aren't the most simple of wins. Here it comes. Meant to be a big burst, but Hunter actually gets blinded in the process. And now everybody's really bottlenecked. Glaive! Oh, he peeks in. That could have been tremendous damage, and it is. He gets a frag and an assist as Estetag comes to bat. And Kenny S needs to bring it back and keep things alive. 1v4. Knocking on the door of the B bomb site, but they all got so fumbled inside of the utility. And Estetag's going to finish this one off. It is the victory for Astralis. Damn, they didn't even sweat on that one. That was pretty nuts. I mean, coming off that win on Dust2 as well, it's a nice confidence win for, for G2. We could talk about that. They pick it.